I'm a college professor and the students I work with work with children who are birthed through age five. Many of them have implemented the Growing Up Wild curriculum in their own classrooms with children who are in preschool and they love it. In fact, that's the reason we started the program is by students' recommendation. My name is Lisa Smith. I teach pre-K for Houston Independent School District at the school at St. George Place, and this is my 13th year teaching pre-K. I think one of the things that I really like about this curriculum is that they, again, there's no right or wrong answer. So, you know, we teach the children about the different webs or different activities, but then we let them create their own. And there's a lot of activities in here where we talk about a different life form, and then the children are given the opportunity to come up with their own. Come up with your own type of bird or your own type of spider or your own type of spider web. So it brings in a lot of thinking skills and imagination skills that I think sometimes we forget that sometimes some curriculums don't have. So it brings in a lot of imagination and creativity for the children. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took the Train the Teacher course at, uh, I believe, the Nature Discovery Center in Bel Air and enjoyed it so much that I started implementing it in my classroom and I also did a workshop for the other teachers at my school. Well, it actually got me ready to do hands-on things with my kids. So when we actually saw the book, we could actually put the book into use, and it really, really came alive. So the, the training itself gave us just this great thing to work with, and we were so motivated by it that we just brought it back and we were just excited, just ecstatic to teach it. I heard about Growing Up Wild and Project Wild from students that I teach at the university. They were talking about it all the time and there was a lot of buzz about it. So we decided to use that as one of the science curriculums that we work, that we teach them so that they can teach their students. Oh. 90% of the caterpillars will become butterflies. So it just gives you some background information, so you're not just making spider webs, you're actually knowledgeable about spiders, and knowledgeable enough to teach children about spiders and spider webs. 